Hey, what's up, Car Shipping Rockstars? It's your girl, Ashley, from ReloGeek.com. And on today's episode, we're talking about acquiring new customers for your broker business. The other day, I hopped on a Facebook Live to ask you guys what's holding you back from starting your business. I get a lot of inquiries about people who are looking to start their business. They get all the steps. They know all the steps to start their business, and yet they never start. So that made me wonder, what is actually holding people back? So I proposed the question, what's holding you back? Judgment-free, tell me in the comments, What's holding you back? And if it's private and you want to DM me, then DM me. And I thought people were going to say, well, I don't have enough money. I don't have a, you know, I'm in a day job or whatever. But surprisingly, or not surprisingly, I shouldn't say it's surprising. A lot of people said that the thing that's holding them back is the fear of not making enough money to sustain the business and the fear of not being able to acquire enough customers when leads are so expensive. Now, I have a different view about the cost of leads. In fact, you not, what industry... Can you go into and literally start a business where you're given people, right, that are interested in your services, handed you, spoon fed to you, and all you got to do is call them and say, hey, I do this thing and I want you to be my customer. I would love to do it for you. Literally, that's it. And, you, and even if leads were $5 a lead, honestly, that's still not too much. And, because, and it's because the amount of time it takes to build a business, to acquire the leads, to even get those type of leads is a lot. So the fact that you're able to pay somebody and be spoon fed these leads, and I'm not talking about the junk leads. That's a totally different ball game. I'm talking about the high quality leads that you're getting. So when it comes to the lead price, I don't think price is a problem. What I think the problem is, besides the fact that there's too many companies, lead companies out there that are selling you garbage leads. Um, The problem is the brokers, because you have no experience, because you're new in the business. And a lot of these people that are telling me this haven't even started their business yet. So they have this fear without even having jumped into it. But just the thought is scary. So if your thought is leads are expensive, it just sounds expensive and it's just too much, then you have two options. You can either suck it up, buy the leads. Well, you have three. Suck it up, buy the leads. You can not buy the leads and build your business yourself based on word of mouth and just getting out there and putting yourself out there and building a brand, which you should be doing anyway. Or you can just not start your business and keep sitting at your day job, dreaming of the day that you get to, you know, jump from there and actually start your business. You know, it's not that hard. You have three options. So let's just say you're taking the option where you're like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to jump in and buy the leads. I'm going to chuck it up and buy the leads. Well, this is where this podcast is going to come in play for you. Because now if your fear is acquiring new customers, well, I just answered that. Your answer is you buy leads. That's how you acquire new customers. If your fear is leads are too much money, well, you sucked it up now. You're going to pay that money because you see the worth of it, the value. The third problem is you don't know how to convert these leads. And I think that when people are saying that they're afraid that they can't get new customers, they're really saying that they're afraid that they're not good at sales. They're afraid that they won't be able to get people to trust them when they're new. And now I spoke a little bit about this in the last podcast, but I created a course, Relo Academy, that literally will walk you through starting your business. It's literally going to give you step by step, including videos on how to start your business. Right. And I want you in there. I do. But if that's not your jam, cool. Real Academy, the first class package is going to give you cheat sheets, checklists, templates, email templates, calling scripts, additional training that's going to walk you through the process of creating emails and all of that stuff. So you're writing the emails that sell because that's important. That is so, so important. Now, it's also going to tell you no matter which package you choose, how to run an auto transport broker business. It's gonna tell you how the industry works. It's gonna tell you the things that you need to know. Now, obviously, like I said, the first class package is gonna go further and give you the questions and answers that people are gonna ask you. So there's nothing for you to think about. There is nothing for you to think about. The answers are there. So what happens when a person says this? Well, then this is what you say. So there's no question. You're gonna come into this business being an expert. I'm using my 10 years, my 10 years, in the trucking, transportation, and relocation industry combined to help guide you. So you will not fail as far as what to say is concerned. But then now we have to take it a step further. The step further is, all right, you've got all of that. Now what? Why do brokers fail at converting leads? And that's what I want to talk about today. That's what I want to talk about today. If you want to get inside Relo Academy, I'm going to leave the link right above here. 
right at the top of the screen. You click that little information button. And I'm also going to leave the link below in the description and in the first comment. Shipmorecars.com forward slash Reload Academy. Shipmorecars.com forward slash Reload Academy. One word. Now, the mistakes that brokers are making. I've been working with brokers of all sizes, from the newbie broker to large brokerages. I have touched all sizes. I can tell you that the biggest mistakes are, we're going to go through four of them. Number one, and these are, I wouldn't say these are in order. The last one, you're going to understand why it's last. You're buying too many leads. So many brokers come in here gung-ho and they say, I want, you know, 200 leads a week or I want 100 leads a day. You cannot work 100 leads per day. I'm telling you that right now. You cannot work 100 leads per day. You need to figure out how many leads is feasible for you to work. And when I say work, I mean you need to put attention and love into each lead. So that way when you're on the phone, when you're talking to these people, you're not rushing them off. You can always add more later. Do not start off being so gung-ho that you have too many leads and they're not getting your attention. You're just a one-man shop, one-woman shop. There's no way you can work that many leads in a day. No way. Unless you're Superman. Unless you've been doing it for a while. So when you're starting out, buy just enough leads that you can work them. And I get it. Some lead companies want you to have a certain amount of leads minimum. Fine. Find another one. Right? Find another one. Because then you're wasting leads. You're wasting valuable leads. I'm quality over quantity. I'd rather have three good conversations in a day with, lead provi- with potential leads, knowing that I'm probably going to convert all three of them because I give them the time and attention. And when I used to charge $300 per serve, per move, that's $900 in a day. $900, three leads, $900, given I get to talk to all three of those people on the phone. Right? I'm not trying to amp you up. I'm not trying to tell you that, yo, this is what you're going to do. No, I'm not telling you that. What I'm telling you is, quantity i'm at quality over quantity i spent 45 minutes to an hour on each one of my leads some brokers are like what the heck how did you make any money well quality over quantity when i spend time with you on the phone you're booking with me you are booking with me hands down there's no doubt about it because i'm spending time with you all right we're not gonna spend too much time on that moving on so the next one the first one was you're buying too many leads the next one You're being impersonal. You're being impersonal. And what does that mean? Too many brokers are using the generic email templates, the email scripts that these um, software companies are providing you. And yes, they've gotten better. Yes, some have tweaked it. But those software companies are not brokers. They don't have empathy. In order to succeed in this business, you need empathy. But you need to have enough to not be consumed by your empathy that you can't see and do your job, right? Empathy. Remember that. Being impersonal means your emails should say your name. I would go a step further, and in today's time, I'd even put a picture at the bottom of my email if I were you. I did that, worked like gold. And if you're afraid of people going to see who you are, get over yourself. I say that with nothing but love. Get over yourself. Be more personal. Use the tags that they allow you to use. So it says, like, first name. That means it puts the person's first name there. Use those tags. Just because you're sending an automated email, it shouldn't sound automated. If you're on my mailing list right now, you think I write you those emails every single day, right? But I don't. They're already planned out, most of them. But yet you think so. You know why? Because I make them personal. That's what you need to do. Make them personal. I teach you all of that if you're in a ship more car selling system, which is in the first class package of Relo Academy. And I'm, gonna, I'm trying to set up a workshop just for people who have started their business, don't want the extras, and just want the workshop to learn how to convert leads like a superstar, like a freaking car shipping rock star because you're a car shipping rock star. You just don't know it yet. We're going to get you there. Don't worry. Stop being impersonal. Yes, big companies can afford to do that. They can afford to do that. They have, hit, they have sales teams who are based on commission and they do anything to get the sale. But you're the small guy. In order to make waves in, a, in the ocean and make them count, you have to do above and beyond. Use that to your advantage. Don't be afraid of being the small guy. Use that to your advantage. Moving on. You're not working the leads. You're not working the leads. So many people I talk to buy leads, buy leads, and let the automated system do the work. They're not calling. They're not, they're not calling. They're not talking to people. They're not emailing people. They're not reaching out. You need to work the leads. It's not easy. 
It's not a business where you can just set up an automated system and boom, you're making millions. <laughs> I wish, <laughs> right? Because then I could have still taught you guys and let my system run itself without having to hire people. I never wanted to hire people because I felt like nobody can do the job like I can do it. Obviously, that was very egotistical of me, probably a bit narcissistic, but you know, I really, really valued what people think of me. And so that's why I never, I get that question all the time. Well, Ashley, if you're so good, why did you leave that? Well, I had to choose between teaching you guys and running that business. What makes more difference? If my job is to change the industry, what's going to make more difference? Me running my little single man shop, making a lot of money, six figures, seven figures? No. Or me helping the new guys that are coming in so you guys don't make the mistakes that so many brokers even now to this day are making, right? Can I get a yes? If you're listening right now, I want you to scream, yes, Ashley, I hear you. I hear you. Let me stop before I start preaching. <laughs> you guys don't want to hear me preach. So that's three. And the last one I'm going to share with you, you're not following up. You are not following up. And I got to keep my voice down. My daughter asleep, so I don't want to wake her up. You're not following up. Follow up, follow up, follow up. From small companies to medium-sized companies to big companies have all written to me with that problem with their sales team. Ashley, can you get my sales team to freaking follow up? Because that's the biggest, biggest way for you to make money. You know how much money people are leaving on the table by not following up? You need to follow up, guys. Oh, I wish I was on video so you could see my face right now. Oh my goodness, I wish I was on video right now. Follow up. Follow up. Follow up. Promise me you're going to follow up. Right now, I want you to write that down. If you're driving, write it down later. I will always follow up. You know how much gold is in following up? Because as the brokers trail off, gone to the next person, a salesperson's job is just to convert sales. Like if they spend too much time on a lead, they're losing money in their head, right? So you be the different. You be different from a salesperson. You're not a salesperson. You're a freaking car shipping rock star. Car shipping rock stars do things different. They follow up. They follow up, follow up, follow up. I'm going to say that until you're tired of hearing me say follow up. Trust me, the gold is in follow up. You know what I mean? People that I didn't get on the phone, I left messages and I followed up. I didn't follow up with the generic, hey, here's your quote again. No, I followed up with, hey, it's Ashley. I called you the other day. I just want to check back in. Are you still interested in shipping your car? Do you have any questions? I'm here for you. Let me know. Anything you want to ask me, I'm an open book. I promise to be honest with you. Human empathy, being personal, working the leads, not buying too many, quality over quantity. Do you see how they all tie in together? All four of these things. Stop being afraid to start your brokering business because of customers. I'm going to get you there. I'm going to get you there. My students come to me and say, it's easy for me to get customers. <laughs> I use your methods. I get the customers. I get the leads. Now the problem is, well, some of them have problems getting people on the phone, which is a whole different story. Some of them have crappy leads. That's a whole nother story. But the people who get them on the phone and use my techniques, they win. The problem is finding carriers. Now that's a whole nother conversation and for a whole nother day. This podcast has gone far, far too long. Follow up. Be personal. Work the leads. Do the work. Quality over quantity. I want you to remember those four things. I want you to stop being afraid. I want you to stop being afraid. You got this. Do you want to wake up every single day wondering what if? I know I don't. It was hard for me to let go of my broker business. Hard for me to let go. And to this day, sometimes I think I, I'm like, maybe I should start it back up. Maybe I should stop teaching because I don't make as much as I was making brokering. I don't. You want to know the honest truth? I don't make even half of what I was making brokering. I don't. I charge so little. I have business friends. People some people have complained that my course, my, my biggest package right now at this time of recording this podcast, my most expensive package is $9.97. Some people have complained that that's just too much money. I know you have value, Ashley, but I just can't afford that. But can you afford not to, right? Obviously, I have cheaper packages. I have business friends who are crushing it right now, telling me, Ashley, you're leaving so much money on the table. Your course should be at least three grand, $3,000. That's what my business friends are charging. They're making seven figures. I'm not even making six. <laughs> That's funny, right? Doing this. I spend my time doing this because I'm passionate about helping you pursue your dreams. I'm passionate about changing the industry. I'm passionate about just letting people know that there's a way to do brokering the right way. And I'm so grateful, so grateful that the industry is changing, which is a whole nother podcast. I'm grateful that it's changing. You know why? Because the brokers that were in it as salespeople are going to start falling by the wayside. 
And now it's more personal. People want experiences. You create an experience for somebody, you get them. Somebody said they feel like the industry is going for the worse. It's not. It's weeding out the garbage people. If you build a brand, if you have empathy, if you treat people like you want to be treated, the fundamentals that they teach you as a kid, then my friend, you're going to be a car shipping rock star. People still are moving cars. It doesn't stop. People are still shipping cars. That's the crazy thing, right? You need to find those people. You need to find those people. Help those people find you and show why you're so special. Show why they should choose you. Stop being scared. I want to challenge you. Take the step. Take the step. It's not like it costs you millions of dollars to start this business. It's actually quite inexpensive compared to a lot of other businesses. Granted, it's expensive compared to online businesses. Don't let the bond scare you. Relogeek.com forward slash resources. That's relogeek.com forward slash resources. I list the bond company that I recommend. Call them. Let them know I sent you. Get a quote. Stop being scared. Take your action. Take your action. That's your action. And if you're brave, and if you're ready to do this, and you're like, heck yeah, Ashley, can I get a heck yeah? Heck yeah, right? Then I want you to join me in Relo Academy. I want you in Relo Academy. I promise you, if you do what I'm telling you to do, your converting leads won't be a problem. I'm telling you. So that's it for this podcast. Thank you for spending 17 minutes with me today. <laughs> we, I try to keep them short, but this one, it's passion. It's passion. I'm passionate about it. So get out there and get the quote for your bond. Stop being scared. And then get your butt in Relo Academy. I want you in Relo Academy. And if finances are an issue, hit me up. I'll see what I can do to get you in there. I'll see what I can do to get you in there because I need you in there. I need you to know the right way to run an auto transport brokering business. Not the way by watching other people and trying to jimmy the pieces together. No, we're going to do the right way of running auto transport broker business. So if finances is truly an issue, I'm not saying for the people that have the money and just don't want to spend it. That's a totally different problem. If you are struggling right now financially, but you're trying to get your butt in Real Academy, hit me up. I'll see what I can do for you. I can't guarantee I'll get you in there, but message me. Message me. That's it for this podcast. If you like this podcast, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more podcasts and videos just like it. I'm Ashley from Relogeek.com. Now get out there and make moves happen. I'll talk to you guys in the next podcast.